So let's start with the definition, metallic bonding, that is positive metal ions in a sea of electrons. And an alloy, well that's made from more than one metal, with the exception of steel that's made from iron and the non-metal carbon, and that's quite a common alloy. It's a mistake to think that the positive metal ions are attracting each other in metallic bonding. That's not true at all. They're positive, they're gonna repel each other. But metal ions have non-directional bonds that are attracted to the sea of electrons. So malleable means that something can be bent or reshaped under pressure, traditionally with a hammer actually. So if you were to hammer a metal, the metal ions will move in such a way that they'll rearrange themselves, but the structure itself of the metal isn't brittle and it won't shatter, it will just bend. It's malleable. But for certain alloys of metals, these have larger ions within the general structure, and so that prevents the simple movement of the ions when they're hit with a hammer. So it gives the alloy extra strength. And for comparison, let's have a look when you hit an ionic solid. What happens is that when you hit it, the ions will shift along, so the ions of the same charge are now opposite each other, they'll repel, and the solid will shatter. The word for that is brittle. And finally, anything with freely moving charged particles will conduct electricity. So that would be the sea of electrons in metals then. Now that's a stylized version of the metal wire there. I've blown up part of the copper wire at the bottom there. And you can see the freely moving electrons with the ions embedded in them. So when I, oh, Thorno power. So when I close the switch, electricity is now flying around the circuits and you see the electrons are moving from the negative to the positive end of that piece of wire. So metals can conduct electricity because the electrons can move around the circuit, they can carry the charge. 